Check out the weather because we've got Ryan Laird in studio with us. I'm your man and rising star award for the Canadian Country Music Awards. And again, congratulations. And you're going to now uh, give us a little taste of acoustic set. I love it when people come in and they perform on 620 CKRM because it's always such a treat. You want to tell us a little bit maybe more about the song? Yeah, yeah. And it's one of my favorite aspects of what I do too is getting to go out and, uh, and tour around and see new places. I'm going to spend the day in Regina and take some of it in and... Uh, and getting to perform, though, I was going to say, is one of the, the best parts of what I do for me, uh, getting to share these songs. And so before I, I share I'm Your Man, uh, my brother uh, had dated uh, his high school sweetheart all through high school, a, a girl named Shannon. And uh, when I started going to Nashville at age 19, I, I left small town Fergus, Ontario, to I packed up my 95 Honda Civic, threw this guitar that I hold here in the back of the car and a bag of clothes and headed south uh, just with my dreams, pretty much. And, uh, you know, it took, took a few years down there to really get things going, but uh, um, my brother had, had called me, and, and when I came back home to Fergus, Ontario, from one of my, my writing trips from Nashville, he said to me, hey, Ryan, you know, I, looking back, I made a big mistake. I, I realize now I never should have broken up with Shannon. Uh, what can I do? How can I get her back? And I just told him... Uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah, I, you, you're the one that broke up with her in the first place. Yeah. But uh, I could I could try writing you a song for her. So uh, I, I took that idea and I had this title on your man and took it back down to Nashville on my next songwriting trip and uh, got together with a, another uh, a talented uh, Canadian country artist uh, that you'll know named Jason McCoy. Yes. And uh, Jason helped me write this song, and, and uh, next thing I knew, the end of the day, and, and, we, and we had on your man. So. so thank goodness for your brother and Shannon, right? And they're getting back together again? <laughs> That's right, and actually they're, uh, they got engaged uh, recently, and they're getting married in August. So, so guess who's <laughs> going to be singing at the wedding then, right? <laughs> I will be singing at the wedding, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm just going to let you uh, cut loose on I'm Your Man. It's Ryan Laird on 620 CKRM. Baby, I'm your 
perfect. Woo! Very nice, very nice. A little studio you. audience here. That is terrific. Thanks very much. Now, this is very exciting, actually, uh, to know that you are also a model for the Calgary <laughs> Stampede. I mean, really. Yeah, I... I You're I, the whole package, Ryan Laird. <laughs> That's funny you, you heard about that. I, uh... Yeah, I went out to play the Calgary Stampede. I was very honored to, to get invited to go up at the 100th anniversary of the Calgary Stampede uh, mm -hmm. just about uh, a week or so ago. And uh, so Harry Rosen was uh, doing a Stampede uh, kickoff party type event and, uh, and asked me to, uh, to be the featured performer and, and model their clothing and whatnot. Um, at, at, you know, for the stampede, so I was uh, thrilled to, to get to do that. And it's it's kind of a fun thing to do. I, you know, I'm a musician firstly and foremost, but uh, to get to uh, I guess quote unquote walk the catwalk a little bit at the stampede was uh, it was kind of a fun experience. Is for that me. a Harry Rosen shirt you're wearing? Did they the give jeans you here? Uh, they did. They gave me they gave me the outfit here. Yeah, these jeans and everything are uh, are Harry Rosen. So uh, thanks to Harry for that. Well, hey, when you're you know the rising star nominee, you better have a good look going too, right? I suppose so. so. I suppose so. I like to think that it's uh, it's first and foremost about the music and, yeah. and the songs and the stories that we portray. But uh, hey, to get some some Harry Rosen opportunities along the way, I'm not going to complain. So. Now you've been a pretty busy guy too. I mean, you've been touring with some unbelievable talent. Um, yeah. I know David Lee Murphy is one of the guys that you've been with. On New Year's Eve, I, I came out uh, here to uh, play the D Dakota Dunes Casino mm -hmm. in Saskatchewan here uh, and got to open up for uh, Mr. Dust on the Bottle himself, oh, okay. David Lee Murphy, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm And then uh, Craven uh, Country Jamboree last summer. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, uh, I played at, uh, uh, so I, I hope, and, I mean, what a great festival. Yeah. I hope you get to return someday. Oh, it was so smoking hot last year. This year it was a little mix of everything. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, and one of the guys, of course, that was the main stage entertainer on on Saturday, Alan Jackson. So you know Alan Jackson, hey? Yeah, I, I got the, uh, my agent called about six months previously and said, uh, hey Ryan, how would you like to uh, open up for Mr. Alan Jackson? And uh, I mean, I was absolutely floored. I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I actually said to him, uh, are you sure you're calling the right guy here? Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, what an opportunity and a once in a lifetime uh, chance for me to, to open up for Alan. So uh, that was a great tour to be on uh, as his opening act. And, you know, he doesn't say a lot, uh, and Alan doesn't need to. I mean, he's had so many hits and is, is such a living legend in country music. But uh, I think he said something to me along the ways of, uh, you know, well, son, it's. Uh, Great to have you out here on the road with us. And that was uh, that was about that. <laughs> now I'm going back into my trailer. He uh, he he does a lot of the. Uh, I know I was surprised at how much he actually spoke during his show that he just did mm -hmm. here on the weekend. But the videos of Alan Jackson really just tell the whole story as well as, of course, his songs too. So. Oh yeah, yeah. No, he's got a great show put together. Now, when you're touring with guys like David Lee Murphy and Alan Jackson, and you're working with guys like uh, Jason McCoy, yeah, uh, and it's a mentorship kind of thing or a learning process. Sure. What what kind of like is it almost like? sensory overload like you're just getting all of this stuff and you need to kind of get away and and process uh, you know the stuff uh i think about eight years ago when i first started going to nashville and over the first couple of years I, I started to get to to be in the same room or meet some of these kind of guys mm -hmm. and uh, i was absolutely uh i mean you're you're kind of starstruck and stunned especially in the beginning you know and i mean it still happens once in a while i mean meeting alan jackson for the first time certainly uh those that was one of those kind of starstruck moments for me but uh, uh, you know but I mean uh, the more I do it and the more people I meet uh, you know you learn that uh, everyone's uh, we're all just people in the music industry and, and it's what we do and uh, and one thing I've, I've been learning along the way too is that it's uh, all the ones that seem to have the most success uh, uh, you know take the time to get the best songs and it definitely comes down to, to great songs I think do all the speaking at the end of the day all right. for us. So, uh, briefly, I, I see you've got another kind of uh, stunt here going, Got Milk, Get Lair. <laughs> so what's that all about before we let you go? So you've heard of the Got Milk campaign. Yes. Um, so uh, I decided uh, to start the Get Laired campaign. So I, I've got these t-shirts that I've made up. They say Get Laired on the front, and I have them at, at all my live shows and whatnot. Uh, for your listeners out there, if they go to my website at ryanlaird.com, uh, just R-Y-A-N-L-A-I-R-D, 
Laird.com and you uh, click the store link on there. You okay. can see pictures of these Get Laird shirts on there. So uh, I love that. To, to spread the message. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Now, okay, uh, again, you're just going to kind of be spending the day here. Do you have any dates uh, coming up that are very close that uh, people can come out and see? Yeah, well, not, not so close to here unless people feel like going for a drive. They may want to leave today to get there in time. Uh, I'm going to be playing uh, in Windsor, Ontario on Thursday. Hey, road trip. Why not? Let's take a road trip, everyone. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be doing a show with uh, Aaron Perchette there on Thursday, so uh, looking forward to that. And uh, just briefly, here's a quick one for you. One person that you would absolutely love to work with or would love to be on the same bill as? Uh, just one? Just one person? Oh, give me three. All right, we'll give you three. All right, well, uh, Canadian uh, singer-songwriter, uh, such a talented man, Brian Adams. Okay. Uh, Keith Urban, and uh, let's go with... Uh, I'll also take Vince Gill and the Vince Gill and the Zach Brown band. That's four. <laughs> oh wow! Well, you've got a lot of stuff to get going on. I think. Yeah, uh, would you like to play us out with something? Sure, I could. Now I know you've got Girl Crazy. You want you want uh, the live version of it, or? Yeah, let's do some of the live version. Okay. All right. And then we'll follow it up with a guy who you just toured with, and we'll play Girl Crazy as well. And play Girl Crazy. Yeah. All right. Thanks for that. Here's the live version. <laughs> Getting bluer, the grass is getting green. I should be clearing clutter and fixing window screens. The days are getting longer, summer's finally here. Not thinking about fishing or working overtime. Many splits are everywhere, messing up my mind. It all seems to happen this time of year. Boy, boy, a girl 
everybody, and uh, you are going to have such a terrific career. I can just feel it. You're just getting started, Ryan. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, I appreciate that a lot. To see us here. Thanks. And I'm sure that all of our listeners would love to uh, win one of your EPs. Yeah, no, we've got some, some uh, sign. I just signed them, actually, as we're speaking here. I've got some uh, signed copies of the brand new album here, so... Uh, why don't we, if you want to give some away, yeah, sure. I'd love to do that. Uh, 936 6262. If you love Ryan Laird as much as we do, and wish him all the best of luck, especially seeing you in September when you're going to be out uh, for the yeah. Canadian Country Music Awards in Saskatoon. Yep. Uh, we'll be rooting for you here. Thank you very much. All right, we'll take the first three callers through, and you'll win one of these great uh, CDs to put in your car so you can be girl crazy through the summer. It's 1038. New Holland, CX.